People, let me ask you something. Do handicapped poker players in the United States have any rights at all? What did they strip us? Yeah, people who can't get out of the house for whatever reason, whether it's a physical handicap, a mental handicap, which is just as real, or maybe you just don't want to go out and mingle. Maybe you really can't afford it. Maybe the price of gasoline is too much. Maybe you don't have a car. Maybe the price of parking is, is, is just ridiculous as far as you're concerned. Waiting around in there for a game that could take hours to get into. And then being forced to play way over your head. Maybe, maybe you only want to play for pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters like you could on the internet. Yeah, but no more. Nah, 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 nah. They took away our civil rights, and I really believe that. In other words, what they're saying is, hey, I don't care if you spent hours a day of pleasure, if this fills your time, maybe even saves your life in a way. It gave you a purpose. It gave you something to do that you love. Uh, your mind, your mind was taken off of your physical or mental problems, your financial problems, whatever it might be. But no, here in the United States, where poker started, I mean, unless I'm wrong, <laughs> and they played around the world on the internet legally in communist countries and dictators and everything else. We can't do it here though, nah. We could lose our week's pay on a state lottery. Oh yeah, that we can do, sure, no problem there. But no, we can't play poker. The handicapped cannot play poker anymore. And the civil rights was taken away and maybe a lawyer, maybe a lawyer, wants to come and join us. Maybe we can do something about this. Come on over to the website, voice your opinion on the contact form. The form will be going up shortly. I want to hear your stories and I will post them. Let's do something. Our word has to get out. We have to be heard. Our legal rights, our civil rights were stripped away from us. We can't let them get away with this. Come on over. Let me hear your story. Thank you. Thank you.